What's up, man? How you doing? I'm, I'm doing great. How you doing? Good, man. You look good. Hey, I, I gotta know. I gotta know. Look, Conor McGregor. You know, everyone wants to see the fights, the, the next fight, but who should it be? You know, there's, a, there's talk between Justin Gaethje, you know, uh, Michael Chandler, Jake Paul, Nate Diaz, all these guys. Uh, you know, all those would be interesting fights. All those would be interesting fights. I'd like to see the Nate Diaz one again, just because I... Just run it back? Uh, run it back, just do it one more time. You know, that'd, that'd be fun to watch. Do you think it could would it have a different result, or what? I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. It should be fun. It'd be fun. That's the best. That's yeah, the... I like, it'd be fun. I think that'd be... Real competitive, I think it's a good, good one to come back to. Well, well listen, man, uh, you know, uh, Jake Paul, you know, just just fought uh, Nate Diaz in a boxing ring. And, yeah. you know, it ended up pretty good for for, uh, for Jake. But now he's claiming that all he needs is nine months of MMA training in order to beat uh, Nate Diaz in, in an MMA fight. That, you know, is, you know, is, that, you know that, that, that tells me he just doesn't understand the difference. That he has no clue of the difference between MMA and, and, and boxing. What would that look like? How much time would would be needed? It, 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 it'll depend on a wrestling background. How much uh, you know? He's pretty good. Training, I mean, he's a wrestler. He has a wrestling background. Yeah. So that helps. But I mean, just be able to make that transition. And you know, he, I mean, he is fighting a guy that usually fights two weight classes below him. Right. Like, that, like he likes to pick. He likes to grab the guys that are a lot smaller than him. But yeah. But I mean, but, but Nate's a good jiu-jitsu guy. He's a good right. grappler. And he knows how to fight MMA. You yeah, know, it's like there's a different stance. Everything changes. If you had kicks, you got to change your stance. You can't you can't stand a boxing stance. I, I, I hit you so I hurt your leg so bad in the first round. You, <laughs> you got one round to knock me out. If you got, if you got to get a kickbox, you're standing in a boxing stance. Exactly. So so what what advice would you have to to Jake? You know, a reality check. Reality check. Hey, why don't you do a submission match? Go out and see how, how long your last submission match with somebody. Test like it that. out. Get, Test it out. Get, get his little, feet wet. Get a little practice. Get a little practice. See, see where you really stand. How would you be willing to show him? I'd be really so but he wants to wrestle jiu-jitsu. I got you. <laughs> Hi, welcome back to Hey, thank you, Chuck.